After about 10 years, we had 10 or 12 scientists. We had a $9 million budget, uh, and we had to make a decision. Should we just continue to grow the cardiovascular area, or should we diversify? That timing happened to coincide with the HIV epidemic that was unfolding with San Francisco being the epicenter. And so a key decision was made at that time in the early 1990s uh, to apply this model to solving HIV. I have been at Gladstone now for 28 years. Uh, I started uh, in 1991. I was recruited to become the director of what was then a, an unbuilt uh, Institute of Virology and Immunology. So I think GIVI started as a fundamental scientific enterprise. We were really uh, the kind of the bricks and mortar of HIV where we were establishing how the virus works. And as we became more accomplished about that understanding, it allowed us to begin uh, the more translational work. In the mid-90s, Gladstone made another pivotal decision and chose to bring that model of discovery to yet a third disease area, initially focused on Alzheimer's, uh, and now extending to many other neurodegenerative diseases. Yes, so the technological development in the last 20 years in our field, but in biology in general, has been absolutely phenomenal, right? I think with the, and we see more and more capabilities emerge at an exponential pace as new techniques uh, become available. We can interrogate molecular pathways uh, in a very large scale biochemically in parallel that would have taken uh, literally years to complete and so I think you know with data sciences uh, expanding at such a rapid clip there is certainly more and more that one can do. Uh, over the last 10 years in science broadly it's become more and more clear that technology is driving the scientific discoveries at an unprecedented pace. And it's really the uh, new approaches to ask old questions uh, that is allowing us to make discoveries, particularly about human disease, in ways that we never could before. And with those technologies, actually, are coming large amounts of data. I came to Gladstone a little over 10 years ago. Uh, Deepak Sarasava hired me when he was the director of cardiovascular, and even at that time, he had a vision that science was becoming more and more technology-driven and more and more data-intensive. My role evolved from being the principal investigator into being uh, the director of our newest institute in data science and biotechnology. One of the cornerstones of, the, of, of Gladstone has been its agility or its flexibility uh, to make changes and to do things uh, quickly. I uh, often get the feeling that I live and work in a pretty special place here that um, is uh, ahead of the curve. So it feels good to come back here and to realize that we are um, making a big difference and that we are doing things differently.